us this week for Scapper High School News. This is the news for the week of May 23rd, May 28th. My name is Sonia Diaz. And I'm Kiara Leonard. In Scarborough High School news, junior Patrick Rogers won the Distinguished Delegate Award on the Security Council at the 2012 USM Model UN Conference last week. This is the most prestigious award at the conference annually. Yearbooks will be going on sale soon. June 1st for seniors, June 4th for juniors, June 5th for sophomores, and June 6th for freshmen. They will be sold in the cafeteria for $60 and cash or check will be accepted. Congratulations to the newly elected ECOS officers. Allison Bennick is once again president, Sarenda Muth is treasurer, and Sophia Diaco is vice president. New members are Patrick Snowden as secretary and Sam Harmon as recycling coordinator. ECOS is hosting a speaker from the Broad Turn Community Supported Farm. She will be promoting a volunteer farm camp counselor opportunity for high school students ages 15 to 17. In town of Scabber News, after an hour-long closed-door meeting Wednesday, town counselors dropped ethics charge against Councilor Richard Sullivan. Sullivan was accused of failing to disclose a conflict of interest. I'm glad to have my good name clear, Sullivan said after the meeting. The Sullivan name got dragged throughout the mood. The charges were made by Councilors Carol Rancourt and Karen D'Andrea, who claimed that Sullivan, per council rules, should have disclosed a 40,000 contract his brother, Dan Sullivan, holds with the town of moving and landscaping. The final piece of Elsie, the stump of what was one of the town's last giant elms, was pulled Wednesday, erasing from the Oak Hill landscape all that remained of the beloved tree that stood for about 150 years. Meanwhile, most of Elsie's sliced and diced last year into boards and chunks remains in storage because artisans haven't expressed as much interest in the wood as the town had hoped. The 37.4 million fiscal 2013 school budget proposed as a correction to what school officials have characterized as several years of underfunding was narrowly approved as 6,633 to 585 referendum vote Tuesday. The budget represents an approximate 1.7 million increase in spending over this year and a 2.9 million increase in taxes under the new budget. Education costs will contribute an additional 80 cents to the property tax rate bringing the total rate for education up to $8.96 per 1,000 of property value. In Red Storm Sports, girls lacrosse won Monday 11-5 over Marshwood in a big win. Scarborough Softball won 7-3 Monday over Chevrolet, and boys and girls tennis both won 5-0 over South Portland. This week's weather, Wednesday uh, night showers and a high of 77, Thursday partly cloudy and a high of 70, Friday morning clouds and a high of 70, Saturday isolated thunderstorms and a high of 82, Sunday partly cloudy and a high of, a high of 78. Thank you for joining us this week for Scarborough High School News. See you next week.